For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet, reporting from the American Society of Hematology annual meeting in Orlando, Florida. Brentuximab vodotin was associated with a 34% complete remission rate in Hodgkin's lymphoma patients who had disease recurrence after autologous stem cell transplant. The most common adverse event was peripheral neuropathy, but most cases were reversible. What do your findings mean for patients? So patient with relapsed Hodgkin lymphoma have a poor prognosis. Uh, these are young patients. The median over survival is only 2.4 years once they fail to transplant. And this, this is a clearly a med medical need. The finding in this study shows that Brentesimum vadotin is very active, has an overall response rate of 75%, and a complete remission rate of 34%. And 94% of patients had achieved too much shrinkage. So this is very exciting for these patients. We were really surprised in this phase two study because, again, of the high response rate, 75% for single agent therapy. And we also found the drug to be relatively non-toxic as compared to other multi-agent chemotherapy regimen. What are the next steps for research? So currently, there are two ongoing trials evaluating this drug in the earlier phases. One is a phase one study of Brentesma vadotin plus ABVD in the upfront setting. The other one is a phase three randomized trial of using Brentesma vadotin as maintenance therapy post autologous stem cell transplant to prevent relapse. In the early part of 2011, Seattle Genetic is, will be filing with FDA for this drug.